<laughs> you go first. <laughs> hey everybody, how you doing? We had a really great weekend of sales on eBay and Poshmark, so we want to show you what's sold. Yeah, we really did. We're feeling super thankful. Let's go check it out. Yeah, for sure. Okay guys, so first going out, I'm pretty excited about this because it's retail arbitrage from Aldi's, actually. Um, so if you're ever getting groceries at Aldi's one of these um, times, <laughs> check, check out their like, um, here today, gone tomorrow little section of goods and food and stuff like that because they got some cool stuff. Like these Pokemon countdown to Halloween, um, sort of like an advent calendar. So I picked these up for um, $4 a piece, and I think I picked up like 10 of them. So I spent uh, like $40 on them, and somebody bought three of them finally. It's the first ones that have sold. Yay! So um, yeah, <laughs> take three of these out, and um, that sort of puts, uh, the rest of these are gonna be pure profit then. I had to wait, you know, since after um, Halloween, uh, after I obviously picked these up, but they're starting to make some money, good deal. And um, next going out, we've got this kind of cool little hog wild squirrel popper um, little fun <laughs> thing here. Um, now, I'm going to call this a McFlippin' mistake, actually, because it went for $8.09 plus free shipping. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. So McFlippin' mistake there. Um, somebody got a really good deal. I forgot to put, um, like, you know, paid first class. So whoopsie daisy on that even and... well seasoned resellers have hiccups right yeah i mean it happens yeah but uh we'll just give somebody a good deal on this fun little toy here i don't know i remember finding that thinking oh my gosh <laughs> yeah super fun love it all right and next going out is uh, we'll do the movies later but this is something that um michelle you had sitting in your attic for a while actually and i was like <laughs> Like the first time I came here, I was like, oh my gosh, what are these? Like, <laughs> why uh, Have you listed them yet? How much are they worth? I was and... afraid of shipping them. That's why I needed you in my life, baby. Oh, I am here and we're shipping all the super hard stuff and getting rid of all those big things that need uh, Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. For sure. So, um, let's, go, let's go find these here. They are a set of Wizard of Oz dolls and I'm pretty much, yep. oh here we go, I put them over here, uh, we'll throw up um, the comps here, but yeah here they are, a set of seven, um, unfortunately these boxes were opened um, and they're a little bit damaged, sort of squished, but I believe this is all seven characters, um, I don't know how many were in the set, but um, I didn't see any with seven, I saw lots of six, but um, this had seven, so even though they were opened, I think um, hundred bucks uh, was a good deal because they look like um, individually they're going for around twenty a piece. So awesome. they, they paid up with shipping. They paid about one hundred forty dollars. So that's um, twenty bucks a piece. Not bad from upstairs. Yep, just kind of sitting there, you know. <laughs> Operation organized, <laughs> Michelle. It's real. Yes, it's <laughs> it's happening. So here's another one to to bring out and then ship. And, oh, gotta get that phone. My pocket. <laughs> Here we go. Another flipping mistake. <laughs> no, you are. You stop. Okay. You're yeah. so good. I'm <laughs> not just saying that either. You are. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Okay, so um, next we're gonna go into A5. And that's these little bins here. I like to put littler stuff into the little, littler bins. Um, that way they're just a little bit easier to find and not with a bunch of uh, larger things. And what we sold here for $7.99 plus shipping is some safety handcuffs. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment, right? Right. Just, <laughs> just selling them for some happy some fun. person is going to just be thrilled. It'll be fun. Yeah. Nothing wrong with having a little fun, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Also, in uh, the next one going out in the A14 bin is a little winch. Um, I really like this. I almost wanted to keep it because it was just a cool, uh, unique little little tool here. But anyway, that went for um, eleven twenty-five and free shipping. Shouldn't be more than like four or five bucks. We'll see. We'll take it. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
This one you'll probably remember us finding in a uh, recent video, actually. This is a shirt. Uh, let's find this. It's in the B bin over here. Um, absolutely love this thing. Um, it's the double-sided cow shirt. Yes! Yes, that we found at a yard sale. Um, <laughs> in a yard sale video, check that one out. We'll, we'll leave a link for that. Absolutely love that. Fifteen thirty-nine. <laughs> Plus shipping. Love it. That looks like it was on sale with those odd numbers. Uh, we do have a couple of hats going out, and those might take a while to find because remember how we took that um, <laughs> uh, Plato's hat. Uh, took all of my hats to Plato's closet, um, so I mixed them all up, and they're not in like hat one, two, three, four through eight anymore. It's like five mixed up bins. So we'll find those, and we'll show you exactly which ones um, in a little bit. Along with there's like five movies that are like all really great 80s movies. So we'll show you all those later. And we'll find um, a baseball glove here. One of my favorite things to sell. We've got a Louisville Slugger, Wade Boggs, Players Edition. That's sold within hours. I listed it way too low, actually, I think. But that's okay. Um, once again, we got somebody... Um, Somebody happy to get that, and also we're moving inventory, which is really important. Yeah, very nice little glove, nice and broken in. Mm. Um, the two-tone leather, I think people really like that. Nice and soft. Yeah, I love it. Yep, soft yet. Um, even though it had a loose strap on the thumb, which I clearly noted, um, somebody can restring that, no problem. And um, I have a really nice glove for less than $30. Good deal on that. Absolutely. For sure. Um, next going out is a Bose Lifestyle, uh, just a left surround replacement speaker. Um, so, you know, just the satellite speaker for a system. Somebody needs that um, to either complete their system or I'm sure that's why they're buying it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and that's going to be in bin X. And that's over here. Okay. So here is it here it is i put it in a little bag here so it didn't get the grills didn't get scratched or anything like that or at least prevented uh any other scratching or damage to the other stuff because this is actually kind of heavy so i like to put that in the bottom in a bag should be good okay so the rest are we got um like four or five dvds and some hats that we're gonna look for We'll bring you back into the shipping office uh, just as soon as we go find the stuff that Michelle sold. Today, I actually sold something, and I guess you could call it retail arbitrage. So I bought this cute little gray jumper from Marshalls for 20 bucks, and a little too short on me. So um, thanks to the new alphabetical organizing system, I swear to you, it's so much easier. <laughs> I find it. Here we go right away. Ooh, and hey. I sold it for $28, which was $9 more than what I purchased it for. So I was pretty psyched. Awesome. Okay, so I guess we're going to start out with uh, shipping my cute little one piece that I sold brand new attached, retail arbitrage, Marshalls. Uh, awesome. So, I'm gonna give him my cute little. Let me give CS Jill's cute poly mailer. It is a cute poly mailer. It inspires me to do cute, cute shipping when I have cute shipping stuff. And I haven't done much retail arbitrage, so I actually bought this for myself. <laughs> and it did invent me. And I thought, what the heck? I'll put it up for $29. And there you go. Didn't take long to sell either. So now that I've inherited the thermal printer with my fantastical boyfriend, um, I just have to say it's totally changed my life. <laughs> and I should have gotten one a long time ago. But I'm pretty sure that I probably wouldn't know how to set it up, so I would have needed I would have needed you in the maybe. Yeah, I'm so happy <laughs> we can make this like be such a nice streamlined process for people. Yeah. Super. All right. All righty. Always make sure 
you get that nice and smooth so it's easy to read when you get to the post office. Sometimes I'm in a hurry and I need to remember to slow down and make sure the label's on right. Well, that's a good point, yeah. If the, the um, barcode is all crinkly or something, it's going to be hard to scan. Um, you can sit there and type in um, the uh, barcodes. But, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but otherwise, uh, they can sit there and do that a lot, but otherwise, you know, it's not going to be like a. Um, each carrier, if it's not going to scan, each carrier is going to sit and type in the barcode. So you might get you know, problems uh, getting there or uh, getting it tracked. So make sure the UPC label is nice and smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Good point, Michelle. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to flash the address. Sorry, baby. <laughs> He's like, no, Michelle. Oh, oh, we're fine. Okay. So next, uh, we got these uh, awesome Pokemon calendars uh, going on. I'm so happy that three of them sold. That means that um, money is coming home. Already. Yeah. Um, my uh, one of my retail arbitrage uh, scores here, so I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, that's cool. We both had one. Absolutely. So um, this right here, I don't think this is going to be much more than when we weigh it. We got coming up to three pounds. We're just going to have to find the right box. Uh, we got uh, twelve by nine by nine. So I think uh, we can put those. Hopefully, all of these will fit into a number seven, which are totally free from the Postal Service number seven box. Let's hope for it. Yeah, it looks like these are going to fit. Excellent. Let's uh, tape these up. Okay. This actually fits like perfect. Oh, almost perfectly. A glove. <laughs> so we'll just have to um, throw like a, a piece of Piece or two of oh, this uh, really nice thin scrap paper. Comes in so handy when you're filling a box. Helps everything um, stay put. Won't move around in there. I like that stuff. It's thinner than the stuff I use. Right? Yeah. You know, there's. Um, Make sure it's way down there. Down there. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. Yay. All right, so with the box now, we have to, of course, weigh it again because that's the total package weight. Um, just one over three pounds. So we're going to have to go uh, four pounds for the weights. They all fit in there perfectly. Yeah, that was absolutely perfect. <laughs> I love that. Um, all right, so uh, with priority mail, the shipping on that is going to be uh, eleven sixty-five. So that actually um, saves them on shipping and me for you know, or us having to pay for shipping three different times, selling one just one by one. So love getting those multiple uh, quantity orders. It just makes our day <laughs> easier, right? <laughs> easier and yes. So we got that one. Perfect. Let's set that over here. Now, next going out. What do we got? <laughs> All right. So we got the uh, squirrel popper. <laughs> I need to play with the squirrel popper. Let me. I know. You know. Uh, we sold it for like eight minus shipping, so we should almost just play with it. Look at him. He's like, <laughs> wow. Anyway. <laughs> okay. All right. So. We are going to let's see, put this 2012 in. parents best toys of the year. I know, isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. It, it seems like you know maybe there would have been more out there, you know, available for sale. There we go. Um, that's going to be less than eight ounces. So we're putting them in a bubble mailer. That one is going to have to go in the bubble mailer at four dollars and twenty cents postage, uh, with with free shipping. So um, sometimes when you um, offer free shipping, 
you don't always have to feel so bad about how you ship it. Sometimes um, there are things that I'll put free shipping on just because, you know, it's just going to have to go on a bow now. Um, because of the size um, and the dimensions, that's just how it has to be. Otherwise, if you say, you know, it's a $12 item, you can go, you know, like $5 plus shipping. So usually you just go, you know, $12 shipping. That's how it goes. Is that okay? Absolutely. Okay. Very good. Next. What else you got for us today, babe? All right. Okay. So we have one of my favorite '80s movies. Um, it's just so hilarious. It's got a bunch of I really great actors. Great actors. Here we go. I was wrong. The Dream Team. The Dream Team. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, it's so good with Christopher Lloyd. Um, what's his name? Uh, oh my gosh, Michael Keaton, of course. So funny, um, they're like mental patients and they sort of escape and go to like a baseball game and go here and there. And... Sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so great. It's, it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> right up your alley, Michelle. Yeah, yeah. no, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I, have no, I, don't, I have no shame. We, no, we really should. We should watch that movie. It's hilarious. Okay, well, Absolutely. hey, I've been missing out all this time. <laughs> Who would have known? Yep. All right. Next going out, we ah. sold up the Wizard of Oz dolls. Let's pack it, dolls oh my gosh, can I just say, I got these dolls last summer when I was starting to learn how to diversify my closet. And I fell in love with the whole set, and then I got home and had um, basically um, a panic attack because I didn't know how the heck I was going to ship them. <laughs> well, um, they're fitting uh, perfectly inside this box. Hello, they're fitting perfectly? They are. Oh, Glenda the Good Witch. So all we need, um, really need to do is line this with paper, and uh, we will just fit them on there nicely. This box is going to be perfect. So. Leave the, leave the paper nice and fluffy at first. Fluffy. Okay. okay. And so I think four of them sat down here really nicely. Like that. And just sort of like fluff the paper. And the here. You're so good at it, that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> Fluffy, we make it fluffy. Nice I'm like, honey, the sensitive side. I'm really like, wow. I'm <laughs> feeling me. it. That's me. <laughs> I don't have soft fluffy paper. I have the other kind of paper that's hard and crunchy. And every time I try to take it out, it, it this is so nice pre-cut. You know what? I actually like um, having both uh, the really light stuff that you can get at Home Depot. You can buy it in rolls of like 200 or something. Nice square sheets. Really light and fluffy. Um, I like those for like these things, but I also like to get the the really thick stuff too, like the roll of really. You thick. do the one I have that I gave you, yeah. Even thicker than that, actually. What? You yeah. need like to cut it with a scissors then. Yes, honestly, yeah. You want the thicker stuff for um, heavier items. Uh, uh, that works really nice. Like that. Perfect. Absolutely. So another thing of paper here. And, uh, we'll just, oh. we'll show it. So I mean, it's basically. <gasps> this was in my dining room for about what since last summer. I swear to you, yeah. you're like not surprised, right? Well, I mean, like I said, you know, these things can be intimidating to ship. I mean, right. when, I mean, when you see kind of like how easy it can be, these don't necessarily need like bubble wrap. You know, yeah. nothing's gonna like break on these. If anything, you know, the, the boxes might get squished a little bit more. But that's what the uh, the paper like. It's just sort of padding, you know. Um, it doesn't need 
necessarily bubble wrap, I would say. So. I'll just uh, put a bunch more of this white craft paper in. And I think we're good to go here. Looks good. So um, we'll just sort of like give it like a... I'm going to hold it and you do it because I get a little nervous about the... I know you like Oh, that. sure. I don't want... Um, before, um, before we do tape it, let's give it a little shape test. Make sure everything's not going to move around and like the... Yeah. Anything in there is like the actual in the box is moving around. So... Pardon me. Oh, no, no, no. Let's um, give it a little shake test and make sure... Here's your... Here's your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Mooches gracias. Whoa! Ah. Ah. <laughs> Lightning flat. I'm nice. Lightning flat. What is this? There we go. Okay. Ninja style. We'll give it another layer of tape. Oh boy. There's no place there's a home. Hmm. Right? Three clicks of the Ruby tools. slippers. <laughs> there is no place for home. Man. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Lovely. So beautiful, yes. And look at this lovely uh, package here. The Wizard of Oz dolls are all packaged up now. <laughs> Ready to go. Amen. $100 uh, plus shipping. Um, let's see what this final package weighs here. I was winging it when I got these, you guys. I was just like, oh, aren't they pretty? I'll take them all. I don't even think I knew, knew how to use Google Lens at that point. Okay, so um, yep, this is all packaged up here. Let's see what uh, the best rate is if we're going to go to UPS or um, the post office. Um, oh, okay. You know what? Priority mail is one cent cheaper <laughs> than UPS. So let's just make it easier on ourselves. We're already going to the post office. Perfect. Hey, for a penny, and saving gas. Have, right. It might even get there um, a little faster too. Right on. Than UPS. I've noticed. So we got um, again. These are in like a like a branded box. You know, Lowe's. I picked these up. Um, you know the exact dimensions. They're like probably like a dollar a piece or something. So go ahead and order some um, plain boxes um, that are just the size you need for some things. These are just so convenient, um, for, and they're really cheap too. Um, to put in to get some stuff shipped out for you. But when you find those boxes that you need. Um, oh, it's so much easier. Yeah. It just makes like, you know, shipping, you know, things like that. Like the. Nobody can see this, but up above us is just this really nice organized, uh, I guess you would call it shelf of different size boxes. So nice. It, it is um, nice to just have a variety of, you know. Be organized. Yeah, and just know that, you know, like when you find that big collection of like a uh, box of dolls, you know, there's, you know, you're going to have some sort of, you know, box to ship it in. And that's half the battle, just <laughs> having a box, <laughs> yeah, really, and and some bubble wrap and stuff like that. So, all right, uh, next go on, it's handcuffs. Fun times. <laughs> all right, you know, we could probably just put um, a bit of bubble wrap on these and put them in a bubble mail. Those are, oh, okay. You don't need a lock for those? Nope, they got, like, it's just like their kids, you know, like safety ones. Cool. Play ones. I uh, shouldn't say kids. <laughs> Could be a, you know, the kid in all of us. The kid in all of us? I <laughs> love that, baby. That was pretty quick. Fast yeah, yeah. on your toes. Jeez. Oh, Here. Thanks. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> So we'll weigh these, and I think it should be any more than four ounces and tricks. So we'll uh, print out a label for these. And that was only uh, 366 to ship these out to what? Vermont. Ah, I love Vermont! Oh my goodness. What size little so poly close. mailer bag is this? Um, these are like probably like six by nine. Maybe seven by ten. Um, cool. Yep, I'm measuring them right now. Six by nine. Awesome. Yep. But, um, it's a great little size. Yeah, for sure. Oh shoot. Okay, let me put the label on first. Oh, perhaps because uh, it's a like a bulkier, odd, uh, odd shape. 
You want the UPC label? Oh, nice and smooth. Dude. It's nice and smooth. Same thing. Next going on, we got this uh, nice little wrench here. I really like this thing. You sell wrenches. <laughs> What's up with that? Remember that cute little one the other time on the video? Yeah, yeah. That's I mean, cool. Just, you know, tools. Guys like them. People need them. Um, this what? is probably this might even be more like a collector's. A uh, collector might want this, but it's also very handy too. I think you know, just a quick little. It is a unique shape. Yeah. And again, you know, these are made to last. So I think I'm going to just wrap this in some bubble wrap. And the other end of the shirt. Same deal with this. Four ounces. So okay. Same size pub nailer. And woof, <clears throat> toasted. This is the one. Oh my god. The fan on. Alright, the next going out. Awesome. Thank you. Oh my gosh, guys, next going out. <laughs> Again. This adorable little uh, shirt. <laughs> Wait, where did we we got that? Is is that single stitch? It was, yes, single stitch. Wait, you, you have to see how cute this is. There's a little tiny rose and it's um sewn on it. So it's like that sticks out. It's really cute. And we should do the uh, butterfly butt. Um, yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Like the butterfly miller with the happy cows. Perfect. Okay. And I'll get a label ready for that. I can't believe we like almost uh, both of us passed up on this. It was like hanging up, uh, like just right there for us to find. And um, I think you screamed, "It's a, it's a <laughs> single stitch granny shirt." Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, I think we're on the hunt for the the granny shirts on this. Qualify. And it did sell. This whole single stitch thing, right? Oh my goodness. Who would have thought? Oh. Oh. That wasn't close to me. Ooh. It's like some tape or something. It didn't close? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> That was weird. Yeah, it like sealed on the... It sealed and then it came unsealed. Okay. Yeah. Good job, baby. Yeah. Okay. Oh. There we go. Boink! Alrighty. So, oh, here's that label. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so now we got um, one of these hats that we didn't show you picking yet. It is a shell. So like a vintage um, oh, Shell Gas. Shell Gas Station? Yeah. yeah. So that been sitting around for a while, finally sold. So we're gonna throw that in a box. Six by nine by four box. But I also have some, um, I believe, eight by eight by six size boxes that will fit um, hats like, say, like this one that have like a taller, um, a taller crown. <laughs> I love that hat. Oh my gosh, yeah, we found this yesterday at this awesome yard sale um, that was like just shoe heaven mm -hmm. for you. Oh my gosh, it was just the hugest row of shoes, and they're all like kind of good too. I mean, in, in a way. Yeah, there's very different varieties. You could go on very a lot of different ways, but it was overwhelming. There were so many shoes. Right. Yeah. And then I found a, um, a garbage bag full of 
uh, vintage hats, and I, I pulled like nine of them out. This was one of them, and Michelle's like, okay, you can't sell that one. I'm I like, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the other ones that he picked up, oh my gosh, there's some really cool ones. Mm, yeah, totally. Yeah. I'm going to start um, listing those. Um, tomorrow, today I got them all cleaned up. Um, sometimes, you know, they just need to... Uh, Freshen up a bit. Yeah, they are all... Have some dust on them or hair or something like that. So I like to clean up the hats before picture day. <laughs> before picture day. <laughs> Football. Football season is coming. Football season is coming. And so is taco dip. Oh, taco dip. Yeah, it goes with football, right? Mm, that, yeah, that sounds delicious. Four layer. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. I know, we just had taco night a couple nights ago. We did. Yeah. So good. Tuesday was taco night. Right. Can I put it right here? Yes, please. Okay. Perfect. Nice on the side without the writing. Yeah. Um, next uh, movie going out. Another one of my favorite 80s movies. Oh, oh. Weird Science, oh, on Blu-ray. <laughs> I've been wrong twice, okay. Oh, no, no, <laughs> I was no. like, I know which one it is. <laughs> this is, I, I just love this. Even Kaya loves this one. Um, it's like one of her favorite movies. That artwork is epic. Right, yeah. That's totally cool. Love this movie, so great. Um, Weird Science. Dun, 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 dun. It's alive! Resurrecting <laughs> Weird Science. <laughs> They built me on their computer. <laughs> <laughs> Such a great movie. Oh my gosh. Speaking of great movies, another awesome movie. This might be from like early 70s actually, I'm not sure, but um, no, nope, very early 80s. Porky's and Porky's number two. It's just the great 80s movie after great 80s movie. <laughs> and people are stocking up for whatever reason. But another great one. I love this movie. Good. Weird science, science, science. Okay. And next going out, we have some more movies. <laughs> Surprise! Yeah. Um, a couple of Eddie Murphy stand up, <gasps> including one of my favorite, Delirious. <laughs> and Raw. Yeah. I mean, timeless yes, comedy. Exactly, yeah. I mean, Eddie Murphy. So good. So good. Good stuff. I mean, we should watch We should watch one of those again one night. Yeah, I, I, I'm partial to Delirious. Because I remember listening to a cassette tape that my dad recorded of this, probably, you know, like on Showtime, but he just recorded the audio. And I remember listening to the cassette tape, I don't know how many times, uh, I think it was so funny. I remember I my younger. parents, yeah, watching it in the living room, and my dad being like, get out of this living room, That's, there's nasty words. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, yeah I was like. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah, Potty Mall City for sure, but it was yeah. just so good. Like, yeah. Yeah. We should do. I would love that. Sure. In fact, I probably still have that old recorded cassette tape. Oh, you do? Honestly. Cool. <laughs> I'm serious, baby. I want to watch that. That'd be awesome. Sure. Okay. Well, we can't watch the DVD of this one anyway. We'll have to find it again. Hopefully, it's on Netflix. Netflix or Prime Video or something. Okay. Next one out. One of my favorite things to sell: the baseball glove. And we're just going to see if this is going to be first class or priority mail, bubble mail or priority mail. It's over one pound, so we're going to use always a um, padded flat rate envelope to ship uh, baseball gloves. Simple, easy, it's only $8.30. Uh, where are we here? Um, padded flat rate envelope. 
$8.30, better than, <laughs> I'm sure, yeah. Uh, then, uh, <laughs> what would you do I, I, without I, my craziness? I, I, I have no idea what you're doing, but I'm sure I'm going to laugh. Later. <laughs> I'm sure all you did are crack my head. I love you so much. Uh, <laughs> look for that. Um, baseball glove is not going to break. It's not, probably not going to tear or anything like that, so be pretty confident to set it off in a bubble mailer. And uh, it's uh, still baseball season right now anyway. It's not quite mid-August, but people are still playing ball. They're still Shoot. <clears throat> baseball knows. How about cleats? This past season, kind of cleats, they already bought them. Not necessarily. Yeah. I mean, sporting goods will generally sell all your life. That's good to know. Yeah, I don't really deal a whole lot of cleats, so I, I sort of noticed maybe the sell through rate on them isn't is it great? so crazy sometimes, and they're about as easy to sell as shoes. What a cutie box! What is oh. this? What size is this? Six by four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Um, you get those. Cute. I know, right? I, yeah. I've used these so many, so many times for so many different things. Um, you can. These are eBay branded, actually. So if you have an eBay store, you get a coupon every month um, to get free boxes and stuff like that. So you can actually pick these up. Very nice. I had no idea. Absolutely. Yeah, I really like this. Yeah, cute size. I noticed right away. Yes, perfect size. Um, I even fit a hat in here because it's a non-structured hat. Um, all you need to really fit in here is the brim. And you can sort of like squish it down. So this actually works once in a while for hats. Oh, sorry. Wow. Yeah. And on to our next item we have... There's only a couple left. Uh, this Bose satellite speaker. I think that's actually one of our last ones here. So we'll leave this um, in the bag, keep it protected even more. We'll see that we're going to need um, probably at least three pounds, and we'll put it in this nice uh, number four party meal box. So, uh, is also free from the postal service. Where's the number four? Um, it'll say it down here. It actually, yeah, box four. Right awesome. There. Yep. So these are just uh, like a almost a perfect square, um, seven by seven by six and a half. Seven and a half. Also perfect for a lot of different items. And did I mention completely free? I mean, you can't. I can't. This can't get any cheaper than free, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. And not having to buy a box. If you're using Priority Mail shipping, use their free boxes as much as possible. It's going to save you lots of money. <laughs> having to buy boxes. Um, let's put this in a little more heavier duty bubble wrap, <gasps> don't you say? A little bit bigger. Fun popping for sure. <laughs> I had to. I know. This is like one of the big fat ones, too. Yeah. The really fat, fun ones. ones. Those are, um, you can actually buy this, um, you know, the bigger bubble size. It's a little more expensive, but um, I actually got a lot of this. Um, I may have been. I've told you that I got a bunch of nice uh, bubble wrap and craft uh, paper and a bunch of foam stuff from a neighbor that had actually um, had a siding business. And so he had all of this extra box fill and he just um, uh, gave it to me all for like five dollars a bag. So. Okay, so there's one thing I just want to say here as a passenger on this train of packing today, and that is one thing Dustin doesn't do is he doesn't, like, take, I don't know, the shortcut when it comes to packing things. He uses lots of bubble, you know, wrap and lots of paper. He's not conscious, well, he's conscious of it, but getting it in there, look, because look, I'm just saying, this is a, a well wrapped item a well-wrapped item so don't be chintzy on it 
Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah no, you did is, so well. It is a very good point. You know, you want air to get there safely. You know, if it doesn't get there safely, you're not getting paid for it. It costs a little bit more money, you know, and that's why we don't want to do it. But mm -hmm. it's really, really makes a difference. Yeah, and we even had to uh, switch the boxes, make it a, a little bit bigger box because this to pad it well. You know, we need to put it in a bigger box. You don't want to return. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, you know, like, like, you're gonna end up returning it um, or refunding it, and you're just get it there safely the first time, make the customer happy, and um, and then you don't have to worry about it. Exactly. I mean, this fits just perfectly. It's not moving around. Perfect size box. Another free box. Unfortunately, you can't order these box A's anymore because they got rid of them. They're just. I, 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 when? So happy that I stocked up on these. When? Um, last year sometime, oh. I believe, or oh, okay. re recently, anyway. But um, this huh. particular size box you cannot order anymore. So be thankful if you have some left laying around. They're awesome size, I love them. Um, and uh, so we got. I deal a lot with priority mail because I sell predominantly on Poshmark and Mercari. But mm -hmm. I get these boxes for Poshmark. Um, we just ordered a bunch. Um, they, they came in the mail and we got them stored in the garage and we just bring them in as we need them. And um, just really thankful for these free boxes. Um, so oh, yeah. It's just perfect. So we got the last thing to put on Bose speakers. What a great brand. Mm, it is. I mean, Timeless. You know yeah, you know you're getting like good sounding quality. Yeah. Um, Quality sound oh, I, I know when they first came out too. Oh, the surround sound. Oh my gosh, I like, love yeah, it. Yeah, the, the wave Bose acoustic wave speakers. They'll still sell. They were like a breakthrough in that in in speakers. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean the their research and and all that. So we're grateful we had some stuff to pack up, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Got a nice little haul to bring to the post office this happy Monday. And uh, the postal people will be happy to see us once again. Because they're such nice people there, as always. Um, we're lucky to have friendly postal workers to go and see. Because that's not always the case. You don't always hear that um, from other people. So. Yeah, but we're lucky. Yeah, we're lucky. Yeah. So. We hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the week sourcing and, of course, shipping. We hope you sell a bunch. Yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Yeah. That's up to you. We're so cute together. Do it again. Yay! Good job. I think that's cool. You can just start it with your hands. Yeah, like... That's so crazy. Yeah. Hair on my nose, nose hairs. I mean, hair on my nose. Mm -hmm.